Hi, people of God, all praises to the Most High. So the Most High wanted me to come on here and make this video and talk about you are not allowed to curse God's creation. Nobody has the authority, the power. No one has the right to curse any of God's creation. God has not given anybody permission to curse his creation. Do you understand me? You're allowed to bless but you're not allowed to curse not even your enemy not even the person you hate you're not allowed to curse nobody you understand and you have you have to understand people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they've been cursing people and especially they've been cursing people who god bless and every time you curse somebody th these people curse somebody who god bless God curses them. That's just automatic. It's an instant, right? So Luke chapter 6, verse 28. This is not going to be a lot of scriptures because God wants me to break down some stuff about people are cursed because they've been cursing blessed people. They are cursed because they've been trying to play God. No, but in the beginning, you know, God put before you life and death, a blessing and a curse. Nobody else never made life. Nobody else put before you life and death, a blessing and a curse. God is a blesser and God does curse. You're not allowed to take it upon your life and yourself to curse anybody of God's creation, whether they're good or whether they're evil, whether they're your enemy or whether they're not. You're not allowed to do that. Nobody is. Luke chapter 6 verse 28. Bless them that curse you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Because look, in Genesis chapter 12 verse 3, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28, God blessed all of his creation. Nobody has permission to curse it. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28 I'm going to read. And God said, "Let us make man in our image and our likeliness." So people trying to curse the image that God has made for other people and their likeliness. They're cursed already because God cursed them because when he made, he said, they're trying to change the image that he made. God's image in them. God said, "Let us make man in our image." After our likeliness, no one's supposed to tamper with your image or your likeliness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. No one's supposed to mess with your dominion either. And over the fowl of the air and the, over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Genesis 1 and 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, he him. Male and female created he them. Nobody is supposed to tamper with your image. That God made you in his image. Nobody is supposed to tamper with your likeliness. That God made you in his likeliness. How he made you to look. Your face. Your beauty. Nobody. Amen. Genesis 1 and 28. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful. No one's supposed to be messing with your fruitfulness. And multiply, are you multiplying and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moves on earth. This is what God blessed them, all his creation with. So nobody's supposed to be tampering with anyone's image, likeliness, fruitfulness, multiplying and replenishing the earth and having dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moves nobody. Now, Romans chapter 12, verse 14, bless them which persecute you. So you see this, you're not, you're allowed to bless. There's nowhere God told you you're allowed to curse. But he didn't tell you that people will not curse. He said, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So he didn't, he said the weapon won't prosper. He didn't say that people weren't going to try to curse. He already told you he will bless them who bless thee and curse those who curse thee. So he already let you know there are good, there is people who curse. 
even though they're not because what is a life of a witch what did they do they curse people why do you think he said suffer not a witch to live they're trying to play god nobody has permission to curse any of god's creation because he blessed them when god made us he blessed us he is the only one who's supposed to be given out curses nobody else So bless them which persecute you. Even bless them. Bless and curse not. So it tells you right there. Bless and curse not. Malachi chapter 3 verse 9. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me. Even this whole nation. That's what God said. So who did God curse? People have. God has cursed people who stole things. That he gave to his creation. So. God cursed people who stole people's spiritual gifts, people's talents, people's abilities, people's money, people, everything that he gave them, people's blessings, people's fruitfulness, people's multiplying, people's destiny, people's stars, people's crown, whatever God gave a person, their talents, their gifts, their abilities, their virtues, whatever blessings, cup run it over, whatever God gave that creation of his and you took it from him he cursed you already you are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me you didn't rob those people because they got that from god you robbed god even this whole nation so he cursed the people who who stole things that people that he gave to his people do you understand so you already know if you're a robber and a thief god cursed you and we already know that video God made me put up about a year or plus ago about the curses in the house of the thief. Amen. Zechariah chapter 5 verse 4. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof so it god even tells you how he deals with the thief I'm not gonna get too much into it because god told me to speak about he bless the blessings and the curses and he curses those who who curse people and they're not even allowed then they have no permission to curse any of his creation and he said to talk about that he cursed people already who are thieves the people who stole people's spiritual gifts, destiny, glory, crowns, whatever it is he gave them. He cursed them for what he gave to another that they took. That's why he said in Malachi 9 and 3 and 9, You are cursed with a curse for you've robbed me, even this whole nation. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, Blessed be the, be the God and father of our lord christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ god bless us acts chapter 3 verse 26 unto you first god having having raised up his son christ sent him to bless you god sent christ to bless you not curse you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities Numbers chapter 23 verse 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless. And he has blessed. I cannot reverse it because when member when he, they went to they tried to curse the children of Israel and he said I cannot curse the children of Israel. But he has received commandment to bless the children of Israel. Be, because what? He says behold I have received commandment to bless. What does it tell you up here? What does it tell you up here? Romans chapter 12 verse 14. Bless them that persecute, persecute you. Bless and curse not. A lot of people are under a lot of curses of God right now. Because they've been cursing who the Lord has blessed. And they've been out here pat, doing curses on people. Trying to pretend like they're God. Trying to play God in people's life. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 30 sorry uh, I why did it go uh, numbers chapter 23 verse 19 God is not a man that he should lie 
neither the son of man that he should repent has he said and shall he not do it or has he spoken and shall he not make it good revelations chapter 1 verse 3 blesses the man that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand why is it saying blessed are those that read because people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge you think if they knew that they weren't supposed to curse people they would be cursing people that they don't have permission to do that and every time they curse somebody some god curses them do they know that god put a curse on them for stealing the things that he gave and gave to his creation do they understand why he said suffer not a witch to live because they're they're cursing people and god gave nobody any permission to do that but he gave you permission to bless amen luke luke chapter 6 verse 28 bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you so what, what we, we even christ told you bless them that curse you so we know there's people who curse but bless them because nobody's given permission to curse nobody but they're just breaking god's commandment and you and pray for them which despitefully use you now proverbs we're going to end this off with proverbs chapter 3 verse 33 the curse of the lord is in the house of the wicked but he blesses the habitation of the just should you be cursing anyone's house no not at all you shouldn't be doing curses on people at all nobody not your enemy not no one at all god is the blesser and god curses so we're gonna stop that right here and we're gonna leave this off with Luke chapter 28 verse Luke chapter 6 verse 28 again bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you so people of God you're seeing a lot of people under God's curse and don't get it confused with God's judgment so there's a difference between God's curse when this curse is on people and there's a difference between God's judgment on people read the curses in deuteronomy read the curses throughout the bible god puts on people that's different than god's judgment but there's some people they're not just under god's curse they're under god's curse and judgment because they've been cursing their cursing who god's blessed and they're under judgment for you know doing other stuff against god so beautiful people you could take this up with god stay blessed and bless bless them that curse you bless them that persecute you whatever you do don't try to play god and don't curse nobody stay blessed